everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer, and today we have the Rhino Rack Flush Roof Rack, also called the Rack 25, and we're taking a look at how it fits, and I'll also show you how to get it installed here on your 2023 Ford F-150. If you're looking to carry around some fun cargo like kayaks or paddle boards or other things on top of the roof of your truck, what you first need is a roof rack system. This specific one is going to be your more sleek and low profile options. This is available as a full kit for your truck custom fit. Now, we have it on our Super Crew cab of our F-150, but this will also fit different cab sizes. Just make sure to use our fit guide here at eTrailer to get the right one for you. As sleek as the system looks, you do have to be mindful that your truck is gonna be on the taller side. So if you are loading things into or onto your roof rack, then if you have running boards, that would be very helpful or plan on loading things from your truck bed if possible. If you do load things up onto here, you are going to have about 49 inches for the front and the rear, give or take an inch of crossbar space. This specific style does have pretty low clearance though. So here's some measurements. The first measurement is gonna be the space from the bottom of the bar to the top of the roof. We're gonna measure here at the ridge. So we have it at about an inch and a half of clearance which isn't much for accessories that require U-bolts and clamps, but some clamps fit right over the crossbar. Another option is to use a T-Track mounted accessory. Another measurement is gonna be how much height does this add to your roof? Again, measuring from that ridge, this time to the top of the crossbar. I have it at about two and three quarter inches if you count that weather strip. That's where your car goes hit. So imagine having some skis with extra tall bindings. You would make sure that there's enough clearance where the bindings don't scratch up your roof. If there isn't, then you can look at accessories that give you some extra height. This is definitely on the low side for roof racks available or for your F-150. So again, look into accessories that give you height and look into accessories that mount to the channels. That T channel is accessed by unlocking the tower door, popping it out, and then you can slide your accessories through. This does utilize rubber weather strips, which is awesome for providing cushion, but also keeping your bars aerodynamic. But you do have to take these out to slide your accessory through, and then you do have to cut this around your accessory once mounted. So my recommendation is, if you're planning on using T-mounted accessories, go ahead and purchase a bunch of extra weather strips so that you can replace them as needed. The nice thing about this is that your tower door works both to secure your roof rack system and your T-Track mounted accessory. This does come with a lock and key. You get two keys and all locks are keyed alike, so you only really need one to access the entire system. The way this clamps to your roof is since you don't have any rails, you have a custom fit rubber pad as well as hook that secures into your door. Now this is low profile enough that it's perfectly fine to use and even slam your door on as long as you install this properly. This holds everything together, creating that strong base for those accessories. Because it's so custom fit for your truck, you are required to install your crossbars to very specific spots on your truck. Now, in our case of our Super Crew cab, that distance is gonna be 31 and a half inches away from each other. That's also called the crossbar spread. That measurement is pretty useful for most accessories, but double check yours to make sure it fits, especially if you have a roof basket or a roof mounted bike rack. Now, if you have a smaller cab, you're gonna go down to about 27 inches apart, give or take an inch. Now, with that being said, I'll show you how I got this installed on our truck. The installation process may look a little confusing at first because there's a bunch of different parts and they have different numbers and designations, but I'm gonna guide you through that process. It's actually pretty simple. I already installed the rear crossbar so we can install the front crossbar together. Most of what you need is gonna be included with your kit, but you do need to bring some tools to the table. 
you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver as well as some scissors, maybe a box cutter or a knife, some way to cut the rubber strips. Plus you are going to need a measuring tape. You can use your basic measuring tape. A soft one is preferred, but not required. Start by prepping your crossbar. You're gonna have these rubber strips and you're gonna need to push these rubber strips into the top channels. Now these are not cut to fit. You will have some extras, which is awesome. So go ahead and fill up your crossbar and then cut off the excess. You can go all the way to the end of the crossbar. We are gonna take that last weather strip out though in order to attach our tower. The tower fits into the side of the crossbar. It will be easy at first, but there will be a little bit of pushing that you are gonna have to do. What I like to do is just gently use the back of a screwdriver to get that fully seated. You'll know it's fully seated when you have access to that hole in the crossbar. With both towers seated, you're then going to secure the towers with the screws included. This is where that Phillips head screwdriver comes in handy. Pop that screw through and just tighten those down. And now it's time to build those towers with the fit kit. When you have your four towers set up, this is a good time to label them for which one's gonna be the front right, front left, rear right, rear left. We're not gonna use these stickers because I already have our rear crossbar set up, but do that now so you don't get confused. This is going to be our front right and our front left. You're gonna have a plastic piece and then you're gonna have a rubber piece. And the rubber pieces are gonna have numbers on them. So double check your instructions. For the right side, for the front and the back, you're gonna have the M700. For the left sides, you're going to have 699. When you put them onto the plastic foot cap, they're gonna have these tabs that fit into that foot pack. Just press them until they're fully seated. There are arrows on the plastic piece as well as the rubber piece. So flip your roof rack where it's facing forward and then that will help you figure out which way to put things. So have the plastic arrow facing out or away from the crossbar and then have the rubber arrow facing forward. So we're going to do facing out, facing forward as we attach onto our tower. This attaches into the tabs just like that. Now before you put your crossbars on, you have to figure out where they're gonna go on your roof. So there's specific instructions for your different F-150s. For the front crossbar, you measure from that seam between the two doors, and then you're gonna go forward. In our case, 280 millimeters. There is an inches measurement. It's just gonna be just past 11 inches. So if you do have a tape measure that shows centimeters, that's awesome. Otherwise, go for 11 inches and 1 32nd of an inch. You also have little stickers included to mark your spot. Then you're gonna gently put your roof rack onto your roof. There is an arrow on the tower. So that arrow marks the center. That center needs to line up with your 28 centimeter mark. You're gonna attach your hook, and I have different ways of doing this depending on how difficult it feels that day, but the main concept is that your bolt is stored in the tower, so take that bolt out and put it through the hook. You're then going to push the hook and the bolt up against that nut in the tower. And there's two ways to do this. One is you can put your hand behind that nut and then push it down just to get that closer to the bolt. And if that still gives you trouble, especially for the second time you have to attach this, then you can also bring that hook upside down just enough to thread a couple turns onto that nut, and then you can swing it around. So those are different options for you, depending on how easy this turns out for you. Either way, once you do get it threaded, only tighten it down halfway or just to the point where the hook barely makes contact with the side of the truck. 
you want to evenly tighten down both sides of the roof rack. So what I do is I halfway tighten down one side and then I go over to here and then I tighten this down 75% and then I go over to the other side and I finish that off. That way it's not pulling the whole system one way to the other. Your Allen key is actually a torque tool. So this is rated for four to five Newton meters. And the way this works is when you turn the Allen key, if you put pressure on that end, see how it's bent now? But once we have enough tension in the bolt, it will flatten out. So keep tightening it down until this flattens out, and that's when you stop. Once both towers are torqued and tightened down, I also like to give them a good old shake test just to make sure they're secure. And then you can cover them with the tower end caps. So these fit in through the tower turn the key in order to lock them. Do this for all four towers and that's it for your install. It really depends on what are you planning on carrying on your F-150. If you're looking for something sleek and low profile, then the Rock 25 definitely checks off those boxes. If you're planning on carrying around more items, especially larger and bulkier racks, then you would be better off getting a roof rack with more crossbar space. One of my favorites for those is gonna be the NO roof rack with a through feet. That one is gonna have longer crossbars that sit out a little bit past your truck, but it does provide that space at around the same price point that the Rhino rack roof rack is gonna be at. But when it comes to that flush design, I think the Rock 25 does it best. It definitely looks very sleek, plus it provides those premium features like being aerodynamic and it includes locks with this rack. So pros and cons to every roof rack. Hopefully this video helped you out with seeing how it look on your F-150 as well as show you how to install it. This was a look at the Rhino Rack flush roof rack, the Rock 25 here on your 2023 Ford F-150.